I feel like it's been so long since I filmed a video like I just I can't speak anymore so if I stumble over my words I'm sorry I'm gonna try my best to edit it out but you know sometimes oh natural is even better <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't already know me, my name is Sheena and I'm so happy you're here. Today we have a fun video. Today is a video that I did a little bit of damage on, slightly hurt my wallet, not going to lie. But today we do have a Sephora Rouge sale haul here for you guys. I wanted to unbox this with you guys so you guys could see what I picked up during the sale. There's a bunch of new skincare products that I have not tried yet so I'm super excited to test those out and some new makeup that I've never tried as well. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and like this video. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. So we're gonna go into the haul here and the first thing that I am going to be unboxing for you guys is a couple of items I picked up from Glow Recipe. The first item here is the Glow Recipe Waterman Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight toner hydrating and pore refining so this product actually went viral all over tiktok and everybody and their mom was using this product i wanted to pick up the glow drops as well but unfortunately it was sold out when i was doing my purchase from the sale but this is what the bottle looks like. It is absolutely stunning. I can't get over how cute Glow Recipes products are. They have some of the cutest packaging, the best smelling products I've ever smelled. I am obsessed with all of their skincare products. If you have not tried Glow Recipe, you need to. The second product that I picked up from them is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum Deep Hydration and Glow. So this is a hyaluronic acid and vegan collagen serum. I have heard many good things about this serum, so I was very excited to pick it up, especially during the sale. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, it's much smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know what I was expecting. This is the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Serum. It is so cute, it's a 30 milliliter bottle. I try to stock up on more skincare during the VIB Rouge sale. Usually makeup is something that I will buy all throughout the year, but skincare is one of those things I don't really invest in until it is time for me to invest in it, which I always want to buy something on a good sale or a good deal. These are the two products that I picked up from Glow Recipe, so I'm so excited to try these. I will keep you guys updated. I'm also gonna pick up the Niacinamide Dew Drops that also come from Glow Recipe once they come back in stock. I wanna try out the viral TikTok trend of this one and those. Um, if you guys know TikTok, you already know, apparently it's supposed to give you the best glowing skin possible, and your girl loves to glow, so we are definitely going to be trying that as soon as I get those. <laughs> Next couple of products I picked up, these actually, I don't, I'm pretty sure these weren't included in the sale, but I did end up picking them up anyways because I have been waiting for them to come back in stock. This is the Inculus Salicylic Acid Cleanser. I've been waiting for this to come in stock. I have been struggling with acne a lot lately. My pores are just really congested, my skin's super congested, and I'm just not happy with my skin in general lately. I was on Accutane for a few months and I was on Accutane for six months actually and my skin was clearer than clear. Then all of a sudden my acne just came back. So I don't know if I'm going to need to go on Accutane again. I haven't changed my, like, I haven't changed anything. So I'm really concerned of where the acne is coming from, but we will figure it out. Um, so I picked up the salicylic acid cleanser just because I've heard wonderful good things about it, especially for acne prone skin. I know salicylic acid is great for cleaning up blackheads and controlling acne and everything as well. This says 2% salicylic acid helps unclog pores and gently exfoliate. Zinc compound also helps reduce excess oil and allotone, allotone helps soothe irritation. <laughs> Tell me how to say that word. It says use AM and PM gently massage a small around face and neck and thoroughly with water. I have really liked every product that I've tried from the Inky List so far so trying some new products that I've never tried before I'm very comfortable with because I do really like the brand and I trust them. I have tried the vitamin C and I have tried the niacinamide and they are both amazing. The second product that I picked up from the Inky List is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I've heard amazing things about this. I actually heard that it is is better than the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum so of course I had to jump on it this has been sold out for a while too so when it comes in stock you kind of got to pick up these items they are very affordable so a lot of people do strive towards these the reason why these products are a little bit cheaper is because they do 
cheap out on their packaging to make it more affordable for people to buy the products and it's supposed to have better ingredients for the price so that's really great about them I honestly really like the inky list I really like the ordinary as well but I'm starting to like the inky list a little bit more just from the products that I've tried so far I do use a little bit of each of the brands so if you guys do want a video of my skincare routine, I would love to share that with you guys. But yeah, these are the two products that I picked up from the Inky List. The next skincare product that I picked up from the Sephora sale, which I am so excited about. I have not even smelt this yet. So this is going to be a totally first impression here for you guys. But I am obsessed with the original Boom Boom Cream. So I had to get the new Bomb Dia Bright Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Um, the packaging, does this not scream summer to you? I am so excited. This a daily nourishing body cream of fruit, AHA's vitamin C, helps smooth texture and even skin tone for a remarkably soft and brighter looking skin. I am so excited about that. I didn't even realize that this was for texture. I literally just bought it because I wanted to smell it and I didn't want to go into the store to smell it. It's a boom dia good day for gorgeous skin. Aw, like look at the color. You guys, I love this color. I'm obsessed. Coral is the new trend this year, I swear. All right, first impressions here. It almost smells like an orange creamsicle or like a peach cream, like peachy, orangey creaminess. Oh, that smells so good. I gotta try some on my hands. Mmm, you guys, mm, the smell is amazing. It literally smells like orange cream. Okay, I'm obsessed. I'm officially obsessed with all of their creams. This one's coming close second to the original Boom Boom cream, gotta say that. Now moving along to some makeup that I did pick up during the sale. I've always wanted to try Dior makeup. I've always stayed away from it just because it is a little bit more pricey and a little bit bougie. And I'm not too much of a bougie girl, although I do love my Natasha Denola palettes and I have like eight of them. But anyways, speaking the fact, I just, I never really spend a whole lot on my makeup. So I ended up picking up three things during the sale that I've been dying to try. The first thing I picked up is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I've heard amazing things about this foundation. This is what the package looks like. I got the shade 0W. Apparently it was my closest match, so I am excited to try this. I might be doing a first impressions of this over on my TikTok, so if you guys want to see that, make sure you go and follow me on TikTok. The second thing I picked up is the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. Um, I have been eyeing this for a very long time. I think this is just an absolutely stunning contour palette and I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of the light shades for sure. The only thing I hate about contour palettes is I personally never use all of the shades, but this would be a great addition to my makeup kit. So I kind of want to test it out and try it for myself first to make sure I quite enjoy it. Um, before I use it on my clients. The third product I picked up from Dior is this Dior Glow Face Palette. So it's just like the contour palette, but a highlighting palette. And I've heard nothing but wonderful things about this palette too. This one I might actually just put directly into my makeup kit. I might try it. I might test it out once on myself just to see. It is a very universal shade palette, which is super nice to have as a makeup artist. I Oh my God, they're so buttery. Okay, Scratch, I'm totally keeping this for myself. Just saying. I can't wait to test out these Dior products. I feel so bougie buying Dior. Like, girl, I'm definitely an adult now. <laughs> this next makeup product, I picked this up for my makeup kit, but this is the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I have not tried anything from Makeup by Mario yet, which is kind of a shocker because he is actually one of my all time favorite celebrity makeup artists. I think he is absolutely stunning and if you guys don't know who he is he is actually Kim Kardashian's makeup artist which is amazing because she is a gorgeous gorgeous woman I am super excited to finally try this I actually bought it for my makeup kit specifically because I do specialize in bridal and all the time everyone's always asking for neutral so I try to stock up on a lot of the neutral shades and I cannot get this open I continuously like to try out oh, new eyeshadow formulas and try new products for my makeup kit as well and I also love how sleek and compact that this is as well which is super nice for a makeup kit but here is the inside of the palette it is literally just all matte neutral shades which I absolutely love and it is a beautiful white case and it has a magnet close. I'm super excited to try this out and test it out on my clients and 
If I really like this palette, I might add more of his products into my makeup kit. Alright, the last two products that I picked up from the Sephora sale. These I've heard nothing but great things about, but these are actually from the Sephora collection. And they were on a better discount. I think they were 30% off during the VIB Rouge sale, so I thought I would just try them. A lot of makeup artists that I work with actually use these in their kit, so I really wanted to try them for myself and see how they are, see if the hype around them is real. So the first one I picked up is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer, and I got the shade 03 Fondant, so hopefully that is the right shade. It looks a little bit too brightening for me, so I might have to pick up a darker shade. And then I also picked up the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact in Light. So this is what the powder looks like. This is supposed to be a dupe for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. If you guys don't already know what that is, it's one of my all-time favorite face powders. I love the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC, but honestly, like, it can't be beat. It is an amazing powder. I love it so much. I stock it in my makeup kit as well. I think if this is a dupe, it'll save me some money. So I'm definitely interested to try this powder out. This concealer, like I said, I've heard nothing but great things. I've heard that it is great for drier under eyes and that it is a lot more hydrating. So I'm definitely open to using that for my makeup kit, especially on my wide variety of clients that I do work with. So I am excited to try this and I can't wait to share with you guys what I think about it. So that is it for my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Let me know what, down below what you guys picked up from the Sephora sale haul. I would love to know. I am always looking to try new products. If you guys want me to test any new products or anything at all, make sure you leave that down below so I can do a little bit of research and have some ideas for videos. Without further ado, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!